Alright guys, today we are jumping into a, another new Survivor. Um, I honestly don't remember if I ever played good old Bill over back here, uh, but he is another one that I was eyeballing um, for a few different perks, but specifically one I wanted to try in my crazy no mither build. And as luck would have it, I was very fortunate while opening up his blood web and prestiging him to tier 1. So I got the exact loadout I was looking for. Um, I've got his unbreakable tier 3, which was the specific perk geared towards this build. Um, Basically, you can fully recover from the dying state once per trial, and it increases your recovery speed by 35%. Now, obviously, with no mither, you can always recover from the dying state, and you do that at a 25% increased speed uh, with tier 3 no mither. Um, obviously, we know the grunt's pain, that's nice, you know, you, you don't leave pools of blood, but since it doesn't say that these perks don't stack on either, I think what's going to happen here is with 35% recovery stacked on 25, I'm going to recover 60% faster. And then paired with the tier 3 tenacity from Detective Tap, uh, I can crawl 50% faster and recover at the same time again we have the grunts of pain reduction and then for the final perk i got a nice tier three prove thyself because why not so this is kind of the one perk in here that i would maybe play around with and swap out but this is the build that i want to test just to see how much stacking this faster recovery speed from the dying state impacts uh the viability of this crazy high risk high reward build so we are just going to jump right in and find out okay irie of crows nice outdoor sandy map we know these well kind of hoping that somebody starts near me great i've got a gin right here so maybe with any luck Prove thyself, Fang. Prove thyself. Yeah, I mean, we just started. It's already a third. Quickly approaching a half. Oh, yeah, Claudia, get in on this. Yeah, that's what's up. Oh, man, look how fast it goes. Look how fast it goes. Boom. One down. Gonna hide in this locker for a second. I hear the heartbeats. Not sure where they are. Yeah, 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 there it is. Halfway? Man, it's so fast with another person on here. With the proof thyself. What a great perk. Time savings are immense. Okay, we got a buddy down, opposite side of the map. Okay. Are there buddies right over there? Sorry. Got a trapper. I can see him through the wall. Were they just face camping our guy on hook? Yeah, because the trap, she's got to be healed out twice. Yeah, he's just trolling over there. How are you going to face camp? The first person you get hooked. That's absurd. I mean, hell. If you want to do that and they can get him saved, they're not going for it. Okay, we're going to have to go for it. Whatever, dude. Get out of here. 
Why is Nia just standing there? I don't get it. Don't worry about me. Try to save them. Whatever, Trapper. Alright, how many alternate gen options do we have? We got the one over there. Yep, one back there. Let's just pop maybe this back wall. Oh, there's another. Oh, do we have one back here too? Let's just work this gen. Let's see what I can do by myself. Let's see if I can get it open. I don't know why, I mean, okay, you're Trapper, fine, but to face camp the survivor the whole time, I mean, whatever, do what you want. Perfectly legitimate style of gameplay, but what's your goal? To get one, maybe two survivors killed? Like, you kind of need to be going for other survivors. Yeah, we, maybe we, we get the guy down from the hook, maybe we don't, but you could potentially have 4 k instead of one. Maybe 2K? I'm not sure, uh... I'm not sure what the thought process is. No judgment. It's just, uh, just an observation. Don't know where he's taking that fang, but this is about to pop and the door's right there. Okay. Got a teammate running for that fang. And he is just face camping again, so what's his goal? maybe get two if he's lucky I mean I don't I don't get this guy's strategy I see him just over there face camping setting traps down like a goober Let's see if I can draw him over here Because that hook breaks there, friend. Watch this, bud. Watch. Watch. Yep. Aww. I don't think there's legitimately anything I can do for them. They would have to crawl towards me to have a chance at it. Yeah, I mean, if I run over there, I'm dead. I can't do it. It's Trapper. I'll just end up getting caught in a trap. I'm not going to make them waste their time. There's nothing I could do. If I had another buddy or two left, I mean, it is what it is, guys. It's one of those you got to you gotta save yourself or, or run the risk of the altruism. Um, yeah, okay. So definitely faster on the pick back up. It might be a little overkill, but it does give you a little bit better survivability, no question about it. 
Um, you know, okay, Trapper, whatever, dude. <laughs> what are you rolling? Insidious, unnerving presence, deer stalker, unrelenting. A bit of a weird flex, but okay. Lengthened jaws, yeah, deep wound, hence the double heal. And hemorrhage, yeah. I mean, it is what it is. Whatever, guys, we got out. Really good blood points there. Um, valiant effort by my fellow survivors. It's just uh, Trapper with traps all around. I mean, the time it takes, you kind of have to work as a team to get it done. Um, just bad luck. It is what it is. Guys, I appreciate you checking in. We will catch you on the next one.